try this question line cuts x axis at a 7 comma 0 and y axis at b 0 comma minus 5 Red. Let's read the equation statement by statement and draw the diagram. Point A is 7, 0 and B is 0, comma minus 5. Join these two points, which is line AB. Okay, now further, a variable line PQ is drawn perpendicular to AB, cutting X axis at P and Y axis at Q. There are infinite straight lines which are perpendicular to AB. One of such line is like this. This line is perpendicular to AB, meets X axis at P and Y axis at Q. If AQ and BP intersect at R, now we are drawing lines AQ and BP. These two lines are intersecting here, we have to find locus of this point. So, this point is R H comma K. We have to get locus of this R point. This angle is 90. Also, this angle is 19. So, if we consider triangle E B Q, then O A, this is altitude and uh, if this point is S, then QS is another altitude. Now, these two altitudes intersecting at point P, that means this BP line which meets QA at R is also perpendicular to this because altitudes of triangle are concurrent. So, we have here established that BR is perpendicular to AQ. Now, this angle is 90 degree or jab bhi 90 degree angle aata hai toh hum slopes se sab se pehle try karte hai. We have here BR perpendicular to AR that means slope of BR multiplied by slope of AR is equal to minus 1. What is slope of BR? That is K minus minus 5 upon H minus 0 multiplied by K minus 0 upon H minus 7. This product is minus 1. Simplifying, we have X multiplied by X minus 7 plus Y multiplied by Y plus 5 is equal to minus 1. In fact, P point का locus क्या हो जाएगा? Circle, जिसमें AB points क्या होंगे? Diametric end points, because this angle is always 90 and angle in semicircle is 90. So, locus of point P is circle. 